A new toy has launched that teaches the basics of computer programming by encouraging children to invent their own games. Hackable forms part of a new wave of devices and games that teach abstract concepts like coding through play. We spoke to Hackable's creators and learning experts to find out more. So Hackable is a ball that emits sounds, uh, light, and that also vibrates. And it's a ball that you can program games to it to play through an iPad or an iPhone. So you can use uh, preset games or you can create your own or edit a, an existing game. Yeah, it's basically jam-packed, full of sensors. So it's got gyroscope in it, for example, and it knows when you shake it or um, when you throw it, depending on what you've programmed into the app. So it's really, you know, a way for kids to learn about sort of the basic programming logic, if this, then that, and put that into something that's, you know, really a physical plaything and take that out into the playground and have fun with it. Games like Hot Potato, Pass the Bomb and Keepy Uppies can be created through a corresponding app before being played using the Hackable in real life. Teaching programming through games is an approach successfully adopted by London-based game studio Quarto. David Miller, the UK Teacher of the Year in 2008 and now Director of Learning at Quarto Studios, believes this approach is one of the best methods to encourage the learning of such skills. A game can give people, pupils, children, you know, an imaginative world that they can get lost in, but they're still learning as they go. And, and the game should always still be part of a conversation, so there will always be, be room for a teacher to talk about what's happening within the game, but the children can find themselves immersed in an environment that they find interesting and where they can fail without feeling as if they are failing, and they can try again without anyone leaning over them and saying, oh, why are you having to take so many tries at this? You know, but where there is still a purposeful learning uh, deep at the heart of it, which the child is actually enjoying the experience of and not doesn't feel that it's some kind of strange adjunct to, to a game. With a couple of days still left to go for its crowdfunding campaign, Hackable has already more than doubled its $100,000 goal through the support of more than 2,000 backers. We have this ambition that kids would grow up with Hackable and you know, it would be a way for them to you know, initially play with the ball and have fun with their friends, but then maybe one day take it apart and start to do other things with the, the core that's inside of it and then maybe one day take the screws out and start plugging into the electronics. So I think that's, there's a lovely thing where you know, kids can really grow with it over time. So I think the main thing is that it's a, a learning platform and that's really fun. Gamification is one of the buzzwords used to describe this type of learning, though Miller believes it would better be described as learnification. Although gamification is quite a mainstream term just now used in educational gaming, for us, we didn't really, the, the, the term didn't speak to us because for, for me as an educator it felt more that gamification spoke to the extrinsic learner, so a child that was interested in getting badges and reward systems, whereas for us we were much more interested in fostering the learning feeling that children have when, we're in the, when they're in an environment that they're actually interested in learning within a context. So we went down the route of learnification, which is more around 21st century skills like collaborative problem solving, exploration, innovative thinking, that kind of thing. So when we created um, Hakitsu, this game that married learning design and game design into the one sort of marriage, if you like, we were much more interested in thinking of it in terms of the skills that children were learning rather than about promoting some badge system within the game.